it's Emily and welcome to another Not So Berry Challenge update and we are finally 100, well I guess last time we were 100% committed to the Peach Generation, but we are finally dealing with the full everything we can do with the Peach Generation. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but basically our Peach Sim is a young adult Princess Peach has aged up. She looks very different. I gave her a completely different hair color than she had before and yeah, this is kind of a shock probably because in all of the little videos you just saw, her hair was one color because she was a teen in all of those videos and then she became a young adult and I gave her a makeover. So we're definitely going to go into Create a Sim and check that out. She's in her sleepwear right now. She just woke up but yeah um she i decided to do this thing where i gave her a different hair color because i've never given my sim a super drastically different hair color from when they were a child to when they were a young adult type of thing or like i, I don't know i've just never like dyed my sims hair basically because i guess like i don't know i guess i don't really think about it because i've never dyed my hair so i don't really think about like maybe this person would want a different hair color. So I've never done that before. And I decided that this generation would be a good time to do it because I liked this hair a lot. It's one of, uh, it's like a new CC hair that came out recently. And the creator of this hair, I think it's like A. Harris Brittany or something. I think that's the order that those things go in. But they have, um, they have these ombre effects and I've downloaded a bunch of their hairs before, but I've never downloaded their ombre things. So I decided to and I think that her brown hair with the peach ombre looks really nice. I like it, and I think that it looks good with all of her new outfits. So, uh, like I said, we'll be seeing those in a minute, but I just want to go through the requirements for the peach generation. So, she is now, has all of the traits, because she's a young adult, so she is a foodie, lazy, and a goofball, and she also has responsible, happy toddler, and gregarious from her popularity aspiration and from her, like, positive responsibility and good toddler skills. She's had that one for a while, but just to go over everything she has right now. And her aspiration is the joke star aspiration. She is actually three quarters of the way done with it. Because here's the thing, I mentioned this in my last update video, but let me go into this menu and show you. So in the third level, you had to join the comedian career of the the comedian branch of the entertainer career and in the second level you had to join the entertainer career and with all of these generations you've always had to complete the aspiration and this generation didn't say that you had to complete the aspiration but i don't know i just wanted to because i've never played with this aspiration before and i I probably, I mean, I might do it again, but I feel like this is my shot to do this aspiration and complete all the stuff. So even though it's not required for the generation, I don't think, I decided to have her join the entertainer career as soon as she became a young adult because she had um, all A's in school, so she was able to enter at level three of the career, and then I just had her get promoted twice, and she got to the fifth level of the career, which is when you pick which branch you go into. Then she joined the comedian branch, and then I immediately had her quit her job and join the detective career, which is her career for this generation, and she is on the third level. Yeah, she's on the third level of the detective career because, like I said, she had A's in school, so now she just gets to jump right in at level three, which is why I felt like for this generation it wasn't such a big deal that she um, took those first few days to kind of get her aspiration together and do a different career for that purpose and then quit it to start the other one because she's still going in at a higher level. You know what I mean? And I've also, unlike some of the other active careers, I've actually played the detective career up to like the fourth or fifth level, I want to say. So I'm not too bummed about missing the first couple levels of the career. Like I would have been with the scientist career. I didn't do that. And then the doctor career, I made sure with both of those that my sim started at level one because, well, the the scientist, you start with your sim as a young adult. So they just start at level one. You don't have any way of improving that. But with the doctor career, I made sure that my sim would go in at level one because I wanted to play through as much of that with her as possible because I hadn't done that one before. But this one, I've done the detective career a little bit. So I'm not too concerned about missing the lower levels. I think I just way over explained that, but it's fine. Now you know everything that I'm thinking about this. And hmm, what else do I want to go over? Ooh, her skills. We can go over her skills. She, um, she is currently, She's watching the cooking channel, I'm pretty sure, for ideas. 
and she's getting her cooking skill up and her gourmet cooking skill up, which we have to master the gourmet cooking skill, and she is doing great, by the way. I had her, before she even became a young adult, she got her cooking to level five, and then ever since then, every meal she has, she just makes a gourmet meal. Like, I just have her make a single serving of a gourmet meal, and she is already at gourmet cooking skill level five, almost level six. I'm very proud of her. Her skills are going fantastic. She's also level four of the guitar skill because one of the rules for this generation is she has to play an instrument, so she plays her guitar every now and then, and she also has to master comedy, and she is already on level eight of comedy because I've been having her work on that so much as a teen and then to complete this aspiration and get to where we could start the detective career. So I think that she's going to master the comedy skill pretty soon and probably gourmet cooking as well. And the detective career will probably be one of the last things we're working on because she has to live in a different world than he or she was raised. And she's doing that right now. She was, she lived in Windenburg as a child. Or no, she lived in Windenburg as a baby and a toddler, but then they moved to Brindleton Bay when she was a child and a teen. So now she's back in Windenburg for now, but I think I might have her move somewhere else at some point. Um, I built an apartment for her, so she might live in the city. Not totally sure yet, but she will be moving. She won't ever live in Brindleton. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is having issues, but she won't ever live, live in Brindleton Bay because that's where the majority of her, like, growing up happened. So, she is just chilling. And, oh, I haven't even shown you her house. How rude am I? Um, yeah, this is her new house. If you haven't seen my speed build on it, I built this little tiny castle, and this is what she is living in. Our Princess Peach deserves a castle. And I've added some laundry stuff, obviously, as one does when new packs come out. So we have that. She has, okay, I don't know if you noticed if you saw the speed build or not, but I put this cloud light in the tower, and I think it's really cute. I don't even know if you can see it from the outside very much. No, you really can't, um, but I think it looks really cute in the house. So there's that. And I have, she has a clothesline just because she doesn't have very much room in her house. Obviously, it's a tiny house. And this is like her bed area. I gave her some nice new rugs under here. And she's got this nice stained glass, very pretty. That's her and her girlfriend. We're probably going to dump her, but I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> this is her nice closet. And let me turn the light on. This is her um, little bathroom and laundry room area. She has her... She's lazy, so she actually makes clothes piles all over the place, and I have to drag them over here myself because she is lazy. And I do everything for her, but it's fine. Um, this is... I also put this little clutter thing under it because I felt like a lazy sim. It would make sense that they probably just kind of like fling their stuff around and it might not get in the hamper, but they don't really care. So there's that. She has a nice little pink peachy colored. I mean, this is just pink, but I can, I can pretend it's peach. Um, the, her little peach washer. And then I gave the bathroom a little bit of a makeover because I decided that she is exclusively going to take bubble baths because she's a goofball. And like, what a goofball thing to do to like only take bubble baths. Like she's never showered, never taken a regular bath, like only bubble baths for her for her entire life. And I'm really dead set on getting her to die of laughter at some point, but obviously we haven't completed all of the goals for her as for, for her generation, so keeping that on the back burner, but that's I'm I will not forget about that. I really want her to die by laughter, but yeah, bubble baths for her and I put some of the fun shelves in there and then her little kitchen that she's got in here. It's a very small kitchen, but she does all of her gourmet cooking in here. It's going pretty well. And then we have our little Yoshi cat is an elder now. He just became an elder like two or three days ago in the game. So by next update, he'll probably be dead and I think we'll have a dog by then. But yeah, it's very sad. Our little Yoshi is getting old. And um, oh yeah, both of her parents died also. You saw that in the update. Thing at the beginning, so that's pretty sad. But um, yeah, actually, both of her parents died before she even became a young adult. So she was still, she went to high school for a day, like her last day of high school, she was an orphan. Like it was just her living in the house with Yoshi in their giant house. And I moved her into this house and then she did her money away pretty much. So she only has 6,000 simoleons. I gave her 10,000 as like a buffer. And then I upgraded some of the appliances and things that were in here. But that's about it. So her amount of money, I felt like she would have had some money since her parents did just die as she was a teenager. Like, she would have inherited something from them. But I didn't want her to have, like, too much money, you know? I want her to be able to make some money and then move into a better place. That type of thing. So, 
Moving on to her friends, because I do have, I've been having her like meet lots of people, which is fun. I haven't done that in a while. So um, as we know, she is dating this girl, which you probably figured out from the little things at the beginning, but this was her like high school girlfriend. And um, yeah, she has to marry a coworker. That's like the first rule of her generation is to marry a coworker. And you know, Camilla is not in the detective career or the entertainer career, as far as I know, so we will likely not be marrying her. They exchange promise rings, but you know, that doesn't always work out. So, um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to dump her at some point, but she met this April girl. I don't know when she even met her, but she knew her already, and so we went to the gym, worked out together, and she was in a playful mood, so she just dropped a little flirtatious joke and things escalated not very much from there, but they exchanged numbers and all of that. And then Christian is technically Camilla's um, brother, but I don't know if he is or not because, okay, here's the thing. I have this weird thing in the save file where these are all actually, these are all townies that were made by Lil Simsy because I'm playing in her Simsy save because I felt like what better save file to play in than the person who created the challenge. I don't know, but I'm playing in her save file. So there are a lot of her townies and her townies all died off after the first couple generations, so I put some of them back in that I didn't interact with in those first generations, and I turned aging off for the townies. So a lot of these townies have been around for like multiple generations now, and I've had like multiple sims be friends with them, or like kind of friends with them, acquaintances, but that's kind of interesting. But anyway, she has her like regular townie families that I've put some of them back in, and then she also has like a teens household that was all like just teenagers, and it was basically like a collection of all the teen sims that she had made from her townies just so you could like put them in your game if you weren't playing in her save file and you would have like extra teens to befriend that had like nice put together outfits and that type of thing. So there's um, that issue and I don't know if that's an issue, but basically there are two Christian Marinos in my save file that I've noticed. One of them is a teen, one of them is a young adult. I'm pretty sure the teen one is officially Camilla's brother, but this one might be. Um, but anyway, she ran into him. She went to, I had her go to a bar last night by herself and she was just chatting up lots of people, joking around as she does. She's just a little goofball. She likes to go out and tell her jokes and, um, things escalated very quickly with Christian. And I, um, I have some fun little screenshots of that incident that I might put at the end of this, but that's about all I'm going to say now. So, um, there's that. And I really think that we're going to need to just dump Camilla. Also, her hair looks like, I didn't realize how much having light hair, like, really just made her look totally different. Like, this is what she used to look like. And then what she looks like now, like, she's a totally different sim. But anyway, I should probably just show you all of her new outfits so you can, like, really get used to her new hair and fall in love with it as much as I have. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so like I said, this is just her sleepwear. She's just got a nice little t-shirt on. The lungs are like a nice peachy color, so I thought that was cute. And yep, that's about it for sleepwear. Her everyday wear. This is her like first everyday wear. And I really like her makeup now. It's very like glowy, and I felt like that would be fitting for someone who, I mean, not that she's an entertainer anymore, because now she's a detective. She's off to solve murders, but I don't know. I thought it was cute for her, like, wanting to be a comedian. I wanted her to be kind of slightly, like, glam, but not super glam, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I can't really explain this very well, but whatever. Um, I just like her style right now. And this is another everyday wear of hers. She's got this one, too. And then she has this little dress, which is, like, her princess peachy color combo because it's all nice and green and peach. I don't know. <laughs> and then this is her new formal wear. She has the same hair for every outfit, which I usually don't do. I try to come up with different hairs, but because she has this ombre thing going on and I don't know how that transfers to like different hair colors, I don't think it works very well if you try to use different colored hair. Um, so I just decided, I mean, I guess I could give her like an updo where maybe you wouldn't see the ombre and then I can just remove the accessory because it's technically listed under the accessory category. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I might have updates on that. I mean, all of her outfits are probably going to be different next time because this is her very like, I'm just a young adult 
outfits, but as she gets more into her detectiveness, I might give her a little bit more mature of a look. I don't know. We'll see. And then this is her, what's this called? Athletic wear. And like I said, that's her sleepwear. And then getting into her party wear. Very exciting. I don't know. This is kind of different. I still can't decide if I liked it or not. I feel like it kind of works, but at the same time, like, I don't really know. And her mom wore this shirt as her party wear in black, so I thought maybe she found this in her mom's closet and, or maybe she was, like, inspired by her mom. She saw, like, an old picture of her mom and she was like, wow, that's such a nice top. And then she found one in a different color in the store and she was like, oh, this makes me think of mom. Have to get it. So, <laughs> I don't know. That's that. And then this is her swimwear. I can't think of words right now. But anyway, um, her look isn't, like, super pinky peach. It's kind of, I mean, she has some outfits that are, but I tried to stay away from that. And someone in the comments uh, a few videos ago told me that they thought that I could use kind of like tan as a peachy color. So I did that a lot because I feel like when you have orange, pink, and then peach all right in a row, you end up using a lot of the same types of color schemes and like clothes and stuff. So I wanted to make her very different and have her own style. I also really like her earrings. Like I downloaded these earrings so long ago and I have yet to use them on a sim that I've actually played with. Like I did this create a sim a few weeks ago and it was called like new current household, create a sim, and I have not played with that sim once because I don't have time to play with other sims other than this sim and my upgrowth challenge, which I do every week, but like, this is the only family I have time to play in my free time, so and no other current household updates will be happening probably until I'm done with this challenge. Just a fair warning. But yeah, I think that's all I have for this update. Also, I wanted to say this isn't like an official thanks video, but thank you so much for 500 subscribers. I really can't believe it. I only got to 100, like, barely a month ago, like five weeks ago, I got to 100 subscribers, and now I'm at 500. And that's really crazy to me, because for the longest time, I thought that, like, if I ever got past 50, that would be, like, insane. And then I did that. And then I was like, oh, wow, I'm probably, like, never gonna get to 100. And then I did. And now here I am at 500. So I just want to say thank you, everyone who's subscribed. And if you're not subscribed already and you like the Not So Very Challenge, I post these update videos every Monday. So make sure to stay tuned. Check those out. I'll have another one next week, and hopefully I will be further into the detective career because that's my main focus now. We've got some of the other things for the Peach Generation done, and yeah, stay tuned. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Bye!